Hey guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber, and today I wanted to talk to you about crypto jacking. And I feel this is a very, very important topic to discuss because today cryptocurrency is all the rage. Everyone's talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and so on. And crypto jacking is directly related with cryptocurrency. And in fact, think of crypto jacking as the cyber attack involving cryptocurrency. But what exactly is crypto jacking? In order to understand it, we need to first of all discuss the concept of crypto mining. What exactly is crypto mining? See, whenever a transaction occurs that involves cryptocurrency, maybe you send cryptocurrency to your friend, maybe you receive cryptocurrency, maybe you've made a payment using cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and so on. Very, very, very complex mathematical equations and calculations have to occur before that transaction can take place. Now, these equations, these calculations are performed by very powerful computers scattered all over the world. That's the reason why blockchain in general is referred to as decentralized. It's not like the traditional uh, banking system where you have one bank or one body responsible for managing all the processes and the transactions and so on. With cryptocurrency and blockchain, it is scattered all over the world. So you have computers all over the world actively participating in all these transactions. Now, crypto miners, what they do is that they set up these very powerful computers to help with the cryptocurrency uh, transactions, and then they get paid in the form of cryptocurrency as compensation. So that's what crypto mining is. You participate in solving all these equations, these calculations, and then you get rewarded for the effort that you've put in. Now, here's the thing. Anybody can become a crypto miner. You don't have to be some big multinational company. All you need really would be the software for mining the cryptocurrency, which you can get for free. But you're also going to need the hardware, the computers, and this is where the real challenge comes into play. The hardware are very, very expensive. You need really, really powerful computers in order to mine cryptocurrency. Now, I did my research and I discovered that the best processors for crypto mining start from around $3,000 and to assemble a whole computer for crypto mining could cost you as much as $15,000. So as you can imagine, it is very expensive and that's just for one computer. Obviously, the more cryptocurrency you can mine, the more money you'll make. So you're thinking about getting maybe four computers, five computers. So you're talking about $60,000 up to $75,000 just to become a crypto miner. That's a lot of money. Now, this is where crypto jacking comes into play. See, in crypto jacking, the hacker is going to attempt to infect your computer so that your computer will be involved in the mining process. Now, obviously, it's not just going to be your computer alone. We're talking about hundreds, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of computers infected so that they all work together to mine the cryptocurrency on behalf of the hacker. In other words, the hacker basically steals the resources of a computer, it steals the memory, steals the processing power to mine cryptocurrency on his behalf. So how exactly does the whole process of crypto jacking occur from start to finish? Well, first of all, the crypto jacker will try to compromise an asset, and this could be code embedded in a malicious link in an email, ads or websites. And then the crypto checker will try to lure the victim into executing the script by clicking on the malicious link. Once the link has been clicked on, crypto mining begins without the knowledge of the user. Now the script uses computer power to solve complex algorithms to mine what's called a block. These blocks are added to a blockchain, the technology which stores digital information about cryptocurrency. And each time a hacker adds a new block to the chain, they will receive cryptocurrency coins. Now, the obvious question here would be, how can you possibly tell if your computer is being used for crypto mining? Well, there are two main ways. First of all, you will notice a drastic drop in the performance of your computer. You will notice it begins to run a lot more slowly. Uh, programs aren't executing as quickly as they used to. That's the very first sign. The second sign is you would notice your computer beginning to overheat a lot faster and your fan begins to work over time as well. Keep in mind that mining cryptocurrency takes a lot of computing power. Your processor, your computer's processor is going to work over time. And as a result, the fan, the cooling fan 
will have to work over time in order to cool down the system. So if you've been infected, what could you possibly do? You could always use anti-malware like Malbytes or Kaspersky to scan your system and remove the malicious files or code. You could also use browser extensions like No Miner or Miner Block that will prevent crypto mining scripts from being executed in the background. Now, you could also try blocking JavaScript on your browsers, but I will not recommend this process because uh, many legitimate websites do, in fact, require the use of JavaScript in order to load files properly on your browser. So disabling JavaScript will not be the way to go. Now, I should also mention that uh, Moreno is actually the cryptocurrency that's very often mined by these crypto jackers, and that's because uh, Moreno doesn't require as much computing power to mine, like say uh, Bitcoin or any of the other uh, major cryptocurrencies out there. So that's it for today's video on crypto jacking. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, put it down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I'm Alex from Love Cyber. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.